Two years after Angla Gold Ashanti suspended production at its giant but loss-making gold mine in Ubuasi, central Ghana, the boom of underground explosions has resumed. Except this time, it's been occupied by hundreds of illegal miners who are willing to gamble with their lives to earn as high as $2,600 a month. We don't intend to destroy anything. It's because we're hungry. That's why we do this work, to enable us to get our daily bread. And there's nothing that worries us over here. Since the mine fell silent, residents of Obuasi say unemployment soared, crime rose, and the town's secondary businesses suffered. Office, we have even regretted that we've put some structures in this town. We have regretted totally. Because, like, if I if I put a hotel here or we have built some stores here, you cannot take it away from here. If you can take it, the office, we will take it from here. Because gradually, gradually, this town is becoming a ghost town. Anglo Gold Ashanti says the government failed to keep illegal miners out, even though the company made much of its concession available to them. The best approach to getting things done sustainably and well-funded is to ensure that the mine itself, that is the core business, is back on its feet and is back on its feet in the proper way. And we think the illegal mining situation that we have now is certainly not helping that. And with all stakeholders working together to ensure a conducive environment and a conducive atmosphere for businesses to operate, this mine could get back on its feet or can get back on its feet and provide support to uh, the, the community and to the government uh, in a more sustainable way. A recent World Bank report said metals, fuels and ores represent 60% of Africa's exports, making it vulnerable to global price swings. The recent slump has reduced average growth in oil-producing countries from 5% in 2014 to 2.9% last year. Maria Galang, CCTV.